Bay. The saga of the great Hudson's Bay Fur Company. And of the brave men who traveled the untrekked wilderness from Labrador to California, from Minnesota to Alaska. Starring Barry Nelson as Jonathan Banner, Hudson's Bay Man. With George Tobias as Pierre Falcone. Gannon, 1821. We were taking on some of the niceties of civilization in the Northwest, also assuming some of civilization's problems. Oh, Colin, you promised. taking a long time in getting to bed. It won't do to look haggard and tired tomorrow. I was just making ready. Oh, Father, please. Nothing will be changed by tears. I know what's best for you, Miguel. Good night. And let me see that you light so quickly. of Jock Maitland's wedding eve celebration as it is. I want to wish well, drink his health, and all that. You listen to me first. Come on. Business is that of yours? Anything that can cause trouble on this post is my business. Look, you've got no right over a man's personal business. No, well, maybe I can help it. Look, Shaw, 
You're married out of your mind. Your case is hopeless. She'll be Jock's wife tomorrow. I shall never give her up. She's being forced into this marriage, and it's wrong. Maybe it is, but that's the way things work here. A father has the right to pick who he thinks is best for his daughter. I hope maybe someday it'll be different. Someday. But I can't wait until someday. Look, Mr. Banner, we love each other. I'm sure you do. Mr. Banner, haven't you ever been in love? When I first joined the company, I was seeing a girl like your Mary, and we wanted to be married, too. My father, he... he wouldn't hear of it. Married her off to a merchant prince in Montreal. Actually, I... I took it pretty hard. As for a father, I thought he was a... I still think of it every once in a while. I don't know. I wonder if I really would have made her happy with the kind of life I lead. If she'd really loved you enough, she'd have been happy. Maybe. But who knows how much is enough? Oh, I can't blame your father for not wanting to take chances. Young fellow's got a lot of proving to do. And young Maitland has proven himself. Maitland's not worthy of her. Well, he... Came in as an apprentice boy at 14. He learned as much about the fur trade as any man on the Hudson's Bay Company. And he's to be promoted to factor. And that's supposed to make him a good husband for Mary. Talk to me. Silence. Attention. As your Toastmaster, I want you all on your feet as we drink to the bride. To the lovely Mary McGregor, who tomorrow will be the lovely Mary Maitland. Oh, well, there we go. Sorry, I'm late. But this is a toast that I, I don't want to miss. So then, gentlemen, health and long life to her. Mm. Well, now that we've drunk to one lady who should be here in spirit, let's drink to another one. A lady who certainly is, gentlemen, a toast. To Osita! Hey, get her. All right, I'll put you both under arrest. Wedding or no wedding if I have to. Just give me two minutes with the Malone. I'll try, Johnny. Two minutes! I welcome it! What are you so hot about, Jock? What's the matter? Doesn't Osita deserve a toast? Oh, she's been a good woman to you, Jock. Even if she is only an Indian squaw. All right, that's enough. Come on. I have no intention of running away. Well, I'm ordering you. For your own protection, you're being transferred to the Two Rivers Post. What if I refuse to go? You'll be locked up and lose your job to boot. Well, make up your mind. Quick! You don't leave me much choice, do you? Sorry for that, boy. I, too. Johnny, if you've got time, Jock would like a word with you. Well, I'll be in. Go over to the corral and pick out a horse for show, will you? You'll need a good one. I'll have to draw on the map. You'll never find his way without it. Transferring him to Two Rivers Post tomorrow. 
good. I could, I could break him in half with these bare fists. Well, I don't want to still in trouble. Yeah. Well, there's nothing else that'd be giving you trouble around here, would there, John? Zera? I can't transfer her to Two Rivers. Oh, that's over. Zitter, Zitter's a fine girl, but she's just something that went along with the bottle on a Saturday night. Uh, nothing more than that to either of us. You've, uh, you have told her? She's going back to her people. She understands. When a man marries, it has to be his own kind. you come back? You are not married until tomorrow. cabin to hurry him up. Just take too long putting on fancy clothes. Looks like it. but I come back again. Then I hear guns. All right, you can give me a hand. Make bandages out of something. Shirts, anything. Here, Andrew McGregor's out of a bit of medical schooling. Get him here fast. Chuck, it's gonna hurt. You 
will help. My legs. I feel nothing. They're like dead. You did well getting the bullet out quickly, Banner. But uh, from what little I know of anatomy, uh, it strikes me he may not regain the use of his legs. For always? <laughs> not for me to answer that question. But I can tell you this, though. He'll need care day and night. Mary, go home and get into fitting clothes. You'll have nurses' work to do. If it's to be day and night, Andrew, Mary will have to have help. I'll not have my daughter sharing a man with an Indian wench. Jock promised me that was all over. She can't do it alone. If you want Jock to live. Aye. Very well. But what will you do about the man who fired the shot? Oh, Andrew, now you know as well as I do, and that it might have been Colin Shaw, but... Uh... Might have been! Ha! Johnny. The other man, they want to go to Two Rivers and bring Shaw back. Maybe. Take good care of Sita. Help Miss McGregor when she comes back. I help. I'm for us all going after him and shooting him down when we find him like he shot down Jock. Right. Well, good. Good. You must know something I don't know, Jimmy. What do you mean? Pierre and I were pretty close to Jock when he was hit. We didn't see who fired the shot. Rubbish. Who else could it have been but Shaw? And if you don't think so, why are you going down to two rivers to fetch him back? If you can find him. I told Andrew McGregor, and I'm telling you all now, it looks like Shaw's guilty, but there's going to be no action taken until it's proven beyond a doubt. You understand? Sure, we understand. If you're trapping between here and Two Rivers, boys, and you just chance to see Mr. Shaw, don't do nothing about it. Wrong, Jimmy. Only don't do what you've been thinking of doing. <laughs> turned off around here. Ah, uh, this Greenhorn. And I have given him a map. Well, maybe he didn't want to go the way the map was taking him. You think he tried to escape? What's that? Shaw! Right here, Banner. You better get your hands up. Quickly! Not thinking of turning outlaw, are you, Shaw? I'm not going back with you. I, I, did, I didn't kill Maitland. How did you know he was dead? I happened to see the shooting. Oh. Well, you've nothing to fear. You take one more step and I'll fire.
Mary. You've been kindness itself helping to nurse me. Thank you. I was only doing my duty. Uh, you're a great one for dutiful feelings. Toward your father now, and towards me, we were married, no doubt. I'll do what's expected of me. But no more? What more is there? Would there be more if you married Colin Shaw? There's no point in talking about that. You must be tired. Send Rosetta in to stay with me a while. Beside me here. You're not much for duty. There you go. Duty? No matter. Somehow I can't be angry with you. Though I should be. Should be coming home for a rest, Mary. Yes, Father. Did you find Shaw? Yes, bringing him in the fort now. But the men there, they'll kill him. No, they won't, Mary. Much better. I'm going to have to ask your help to save Colin Shaw from violence, if nothing more. He didn't shoot you, Jack. What do you say? Well, this is the bullet I dug out of your back. A musket ball. The only gun that Shaw was holding was his rifle. He admits that he intended to shoot you, even aimed at you. But uh, somebody else fired first. Now, who could that have been? You know, Jack. Stand back, Pierre. We're bound to take him and pay him out for what he did to Jock. Johnny said to shoot the first man who tried to take Shaw. Be sensible, man. There's many of us here, and you've only one shot in that piece. You wish to be the one who died? Too soon, were we? Tell him, Jack. Thank you for your friendly concern, Jimmy, trying to even the score for me. But it wasn't young Shaw that put the bullet in me. Who was it? It was an Indian. An Indian brave that bore me a grudge. I saw him plain when I was filming. Mary, if you uh, want to go to him. Sending it to him? What about the marriage? <laughs> There'll be a marriage. Never fear. Well, are they well and truly married? They are. And off to Montreal, where he's to be a clerk in the offices. To which he's better suited than a life in the woods. Mary is like a new woman. She, uh, she makes sure a good wife, not just a dutiful one. She will. She has a great love for him. Although she'd never uh, shoot him in case he decides to give her up. What could you mean by that? I don't know. I feel just a little vague today. Touch of the sun, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> I, uh... I have to turn in that report about the shooting, Jock. Haven't you done it already? I told you the whole story. I was 
shot by an Indian who bore me a grudge. But doesn't any longer. That's what I thought. 